probably most of you don't know, but there's an ongoing coup going on in Turkey right now. Right now, there's a coup. One of the things that the military immediately said is we recognize our responsibilities with NATO, we recognize our responsibilities with the United Nations. We want to make sure that the world knows we are, we want to be seen as a secular nation. This is the military. So yeah, and that, that is what it's about. AKA Diet Syria. <laughs> two weeks ago, two weeks ago, Turkey was nearly rocked to its core. Historically, Turkey is no stranger to violent military coups. This was their fourth in the last 60 years. So at this point, they should really be hosting the quadrennial World Coup Tournament, <laughs> featuring unstable regimes from around the world. This coup is Turkey's last chance to, be, to avoid becoming an authoritarian Islamic regime, if not an outright Islamist dictatorship. And we should make no mistake, the people staging this coup are the good guys. This coup has so, so, so boosted uh, support for Erdogan. He has come across as a victim of military fascism. Let's rally behind him in the name of democracy. Now, uh, I don't know of a single uh, human rights activist in Turkey who would see uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan as a champion of democracy. President Obama may well face a tough choice, side with the military in a coup or with Erdogan, who's been elected, who has been increasingly repressive and autocratic. Obviously, the military is the last bastion, the last resistance to his attempts to uh, really control the entirety of Turkish society. And uh, they clearly, um, some of them at least, have chosen this evening to fight back. Our question on this edition of Quadriga, Turkey coup, blank check for Erdogan?